guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally uploading after centuries. So today I'm going to be doing a Halloween makeup look for you guys. I know usually with YouTubers, they do the intro with their look already, but I still haven't done mine. But yeah, um, you probably saw a clip of it already of how it went. But so yeah, if you want to get that look, keep on watching. But before we start, guys, subscribe to my channel. Leave a like on this video, share this video if you enjoy it, leave any feedback if you want. And let's just get on with the video because no one likes long intros. So yeah, let's start. Okay, so I'm going to name the products as we start the look. It's going to be way easier that way. So yeah. I'm leaving that in. The first step that you need to do is clean off the makeup that you're going to put your product on if you want it to stay on and not ruin the makeup look, you know. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and just kind of like wipe away this makeup. I'm going to just take it all off at the bottom half of my face. Oh wow, I'm so red. Oh, Y'all, hello. We can fix it up later with foundation if we need it. So the first item that I'm going to use is soft putty. It's, I'm not even, wedge, plastic or something, I don't know. It's this product right here. Can you focus please for me? There you go, that's the product. And this is, it's like a tan kind of color. It's like, basically it's like Play-Doh. But I'm gonna take some of this so I can make the wound um, right over here. I'm gonna take a little spoolie and just scrape some product off. I really do hope this is enough. If not, we can take some of this. So I'm gonna start with this much product and I'm just gonna just kind of like play with it for a sec. It's literally like Play Doh, so you kind of just make your scratch. I'm gonna roll it like this. So I'm probably gonna make it. Is this too long? I feel like it's too long. So if it's too long, I'm just gonna kind of fold it in like so. Cause I want it to kind of be thick. Yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it this, like this. So one thing that you will need is Vaseline, so take some Vaseline and take that spoolie and scrape some Vaseline out. So take the spoolie kind of thing and scrape some Vaseline off. When you have scraped your Vaseline, just place it on your fingers, like so. It doesn't really matter how you do this step. It's just so you can, you don't, you can control the, the dough better. So just place the, another thing is you will need glue. So I just measured how long I want my wound to be. I'm gonna take my Madrix Extra and it's basically glue, I don't know where this focus. And I'm just gonna place on my skin so the wound would stay on it and not fall off during the night. So I'm just gonna take some on my little speech of a thing right here. Oh, it's really sticky, so I'm just gonna like place it where I want my wound to be. So just kind of go up. This is really strong in my eyes with my water, so. And I just apply this and just kind of like dab it everywhere with my finger. Take your wound thing and just place it on the glue. Take more Vaseline, put it on your fingers. Oh my God, this might have been too much. I'm just gonna rub it on my hand and just kind of place it on this. So I'm gonna remember to keep some Vaseline on this. And once I've done that, I'm gonna take my spatula and just kind of blend it down into my skin and try to and start to create a wound. Just hold the top of the wound like this so it doesn't fall off. Well, it's not wooden really meant to fall off because you did put some glue. My hands are so oily. 
If you need more Vaseline, go and grab some Vaseline and just place on the spoon. I feel like this is too bit long, so I'm just gonna take some off. I really do think it would have been way too long. So I'm just gonna blend this into my skin. You could have you can also use wax for this if you want. But wax is so hard to work with, I just chose this because I feel it'd be better. So once you have something like this, um, take your spatula and like start creating a hole, like a hole, like a cut. Just kind of cut it in half. This part is pretty tricky for me because I do not have a mirror, but I'll manage. I will manage that part. So start creating a line. If some product com comes off, that's okay. Because you are creating a line. So it's okay. To if it's bumpy, that's okay too because you need to make it look more realistic. So once you created this line, now you're gonna have to take more Vaseline and place on your spoolie and then kind of like make the coat more lot bigger. I'm gonna go back into my cut and start making it bigger. Like so. This is really hard for me to do because I do not have it in my way. If you mess up this part, the bottom where you spread out your... I'm gonna play, call this play up. It's okay. Just making it. I'm taking out some product because it's too much. And I'm just going back in with the spoolie. Take some more Vaseline if you need to and just keep working on it. So I just went off camera to fix this up more so it looks more snatched and real, you know. So this is how it turned out. So now I'm gonna go in with this color wheel. Color wheel. Right now it's it's called Supra Color Corlet. It's basically a palette of cream colors that you would use to create a bruise. If you do not th have that, maybe you could use some paints or eyeshadows. Um, so I scooped some out with my spatula and then placed it onto my palette. Also, you will need a sponge so you could apply the product onto your wound. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and I'm gonna start putting color onto my wound. So there's four colors. There's two brownish yellowish colors. There's like a really dark blue and a purple. I'm gonna go in with these two middle colors that are more brown first. So I'm gonna take some, ooh, take some product and just kind of mix the two together and start applying the product. Don't worry about the outline of this I will fix that so I'm just gonna start applying the product on and just keep mixing the two colors and applying it this kind of looks like a focus yellow like a graining but it's okay everything will come together Just keep taking one or the other and just applying it everywhere. So it should look like this so far. Then I'm gonna go in with the purple and apply it more to my lip area because it's like scratch, so it has to be more to the lip area. Gonna take some dark blue and apply some 
here. If you think you took too much, take the under end and just kind of like blend it out with, where there's no product. Now I'm going to take the two and mix them up and just kind of like dab it in like there. Once you are happy with how this turned out, go in with a paintbrush and go back into the dark blue kind of color and just fill in your wound. It doesn't matter if it goes out of the line, you'll be putting blood on it. And so now I'm gonna go in with fresh scratch blood effect. I'm going to take some of this and then I'm going to take my spatula and just kind of open it. As you can see, this is how it looks. It's like the gooey part of blood. So I placed my product onto my spatula. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to dip in the brush into the blood and just apply it to my scratch. Water. Act on this quick because the blood can dry out, I think. Not too sure. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Just kind of go like that. Oh, you guys love you. So yeah, dun 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 dun. If you want, you can take some of this with your brush. I don't know. I'm just kind of. Make some splashes, kind of, you know, that the blood went everywhere. I take a bigger brush and just kind of like do this on my heart and kind of like make it more effective looking. This glue, not glue, blood is drying. I'm gonna. Like, this is a bias over right here. We'll be applying different blood to it too. So, so, cool. so, so far your scratch wound should like look like this. I'm just gonna fix it over to here. Should be more effective in the lip area. So next thing is take a sponge that has texture and just kind of dab it where you created your wound so this would look more realistic so you're creating texture the next step what you will need is some thread and some tweezers and um, cut up little pieces of thread about this length not even like even smaller then we're gonna take my plastic extra glue and we're gonna take some thread and we're gonna pretend like this is kind of like sewed up a bit so let's bring in this post I took a black thread about this length and I'm gonna take some glue and just apply the glue onto both tip the end of the tip tips and then apply it to my wound this glue dries really fast and is very sticky. Oh, I just use my fingers. If your thread pieces are smaller, then it's better to use tweezers, but I got something. Keep on doing this until you are happy enough with your look. I'm gonna get off the camera and finish this because it's a pain in the ass when I don't get a mirror. I can't see what I'm doing so I'll see you guys in a bit so this is what I got so far the last step is to apply blood I have the Gri Grimas film blood so I'm just gonna shake it up open it and apply it Ugh. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you can see better so basically just apply blood in between the line with the cut. I'm 
let it drip. Take your sponge and just kind of, yay, thread, we don't want you there. Just kind of dab it. I'm gonna apply some blood onto my sponge and just kind of dab the blood everywhere. <laughs> Why is there? Just gonna apply more there. Quickly take your sponge and apply it. So I'm gonna take some of this sponge and take some color back into it and just kind of apply it a bit so take back this sponge and just kind of apply more blood to the end of the scar didn't really have to take off my makeup so this is the finished look we made it and uh, you didn't really have to remove your makeup from here so I made the mistake of removing it, thinking I would have made another one of these scratches here. You guys can also do another scratch like this on this side. I think it looked way better. But if so, if not, you can just leave it on one of the sides. I think this looks pretty lit, bro. Uh, so that is how my Halloween scratch stitched wound turned out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Anyway guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share this video, or anything like that. If you guys want to recreate this look, please tag me in your post, because I would love to see it. But yeah, um, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will be uploading every Tuesdays and Thursdays, because I'm back, baby. Until then, then, skidoodles!